Hey, what's going on everybody? Scott here. We're in Sanctuary. And I got a comment on an older video, my armory in Sanctuary, asking for a video on how I built it. Uh, now, I've got limited time on the Xbox here, uh, only about 30 minutes total, so I'm not going to do a, a let's build a, a, you know, build the entire structure. But I think I've built enough of it and I'll be able to explain it so you get a really good idea on how I was able to come up with that uh, building. Uh, you know, starting with the powered door, and I used all of the concrete uh, tab to build that structure. Uh, and then I made it, you know, four floor pieces wide and five floor pieces long. And then you see there I used the small concrete floors, uh, the small post walls, uh, and a powered door there to make the entrance. And then after that, I mean, you can place the walls however you want. If you want a, a, a wall with a window, you know, you don't even want to use concrete. It's whatever you want to do, you know. And then you can see there I use the upper floor pieces. And then you just leave a gap in the floor, and you're able to put in a couple of concrete walls right there that you can line up and down with your gun racks uh, to show off all of the legendary weapons that you've collected throughout the game if you want to. Um, um, th that particular video I did. Just about every single legendary weapon I collected in the game was on the walls or on a rack or in a display case. And then to change the pattern up a little bit, you see there are two post walls, a half wall, and two more post walls. And then you can just, you know, use whatever pattern you want. The big pain in the butt with that build was the uh, spiral staircase. Because uh, I did that build long before mods came out, and I built it on the PS4. Um, so, you take the curved concrete floors and you start making what looks like manhole covers right and you want to build it all the way up I mean tall but you want to alternate them a little bit you can see there and but you don't want to alternate them too far you want to go just about as far as I did right there and that spaces it out perfectly so you could walk up the stairs without getting stuck into the floor above or, or anything like that so you want to make note of that and then you can make the landing however you wanted. This was how I was able to do it uh, to get it to work so you can walk around it without uh, getting caught in anything. And then you see there, you know, the bottom step there and then the, you just start scrapping the floor pieces and pretty soon your spiral staircase comes out and it goes all the way to the top floor. And then the then you could make your landing however you wanted. Right there, I would norm I would probably put two more small uh, concrete floor pieces, and then I would have my gap in the floor to fit evenly with the two walls I have down there, so you can look from the top floor down to the bottom floor. But this is again, this is all however you want to do it. If you want to do it different, hopefully this you know will spark some kind of idea in you. Maybe you want to change it up a little bit. It's all up to you. That's what that's what we're here for, you know. And then the curved concrete walls should snap right to the curved floor pieces. If not, you'll have to pillar glitch them in. And then I used uh, like the post, the small little post walls to fill in all of the gaps. That was how I was able to create the spiral staircase for that uh, particular build. Now I had a couple other people comment on uh, armories. So I kind of took it and ran with it. Uh, the, not only the one about how I built this one, uh, which I built this one, and then that got me thinking I wanted to do kind of an updated version uh, with the mods uh, and on the Xbox. Uh, some people don't like building with mods. I get that. You know, everybody's entitled to the way they, they want to build. But I don't see a difference in putting down a, con you know, a concrete wall that looks like castle stone. It's only a retextured wall which is what all of the mods are, as, for, uh, as I see no difference in putting down a vanilla wall. So it's up to you on how you want to do it. This was an updated version using the Castle Stone textured concrete walls. Um, and then I have not finished this game, although I've finished the game plenty of times in the past. I mean, the game's been out forever now. 
Uh, so in between the armor smith mod, which is that workbench right ahead, which gives you the uh, armor smith and the weapon smith over there, you can make any weapon or any clothing outfit in the game. So between that mod and the cheat terminal, I was able to furnish or decorate my little armory here with all of the different outfits and and guns and and things like that and I've even incorporated some power armor into this one now these spiral stairs are from the J2M mod J2M workshop I love it and then that gun rack uh, I downloaded a new mod called weapon rack bracket by D Starlin I highly recommend it it's really great uh, you create these little uh, mounting brackets that you put to the wall so I created six of them right there and then whatever weapon I chose plasma for this one uh, laser for the other one and they mount right to the wall like that and then I was able to take those shelves and place it underneath the top of it to make a really cool looking gun rack out of it uh, then that shack bridge right there is actually bigger it's much bigger than that I used the uh, place anywhere mod to shrink it down in size to make a cool looking little bridge to go over my gap in the floor there and then you decorate it out however you want you know I've, I've got the weapon smith mod down downstairs but that's an actual workbench uh, different western outfits you know uh, I like using the display cases to display weapons along with vanilla gun racks and the newer gun racks and uh, you know, I just really, I'd like, I'd like to, to kind of revisit it, to come up with something a little bit different. So, so now we're going to head over to uh, Abernathy Farm. Uh, uh, another uh, gentleman commented on a video about, uh, he was trying to come up with a hidden vault and kind of wanted to see if I would have any ideas about it. So I came up with a couple of different ideas. Uh, so this next one I built at Abernathy Farm. Uh, so we'll head over there in just a second and check that out. But I hope you guys like that, the updated version of the armory at Sanctuary. I did. I loved building with the castle stone and, and the decorating and everything. So now we're at Abernathy Farm. And I haven't built a whole lot here, but I have built this. Uh, now the rocks were the normal boulders like from the unlock settlement objects mod in the nature section of the decorations and then I used place anywhere to blow them up to really make them a lot bigger and make this kind of cave looking structure out of it and then I used this uh, railroad secret door because I thought it was cool for a hidden vault uh, or a hidden armory so the, sli the door slides open, and here's your hidden armory. You know, just like a hidden cache of weapons and ammo. Uh, you know, and then uh, you don't have, this is more of the weapons uh, rack bracket mod. Uh, you don't have to use that. It looks just as well with the vanilla gun racks. Uh, but I really thought this turned out really, really cool uh, to be able to come up with a little hidden vault kind of, or not hidden vault, but it's like my hidden vault. Uh, but a hidden uh, armory. I really liked it. I thought it came out really cool looking. And then using that secret door I thought was awesome. You know, I probably could have done something a little different with the stairs underneath, but... You know, I was actually planning on doing a different build for this week. Um, and this, this one kind of came in spur of the moment so uh, but I'm really really happy with the cave structure and everything that I was able to build with this and the good part about blowing the rocks up you know uh, is once you place them then you kind of just leave the settlement you fast travel away and you come back and it's all been nav meshed like normal you know you can see here I'm crawling all over this thing I'm jumping all over it so it's like a normal you know rock structure that you would come across everywhere in the Commonwealth. It's pretty cool. Now the next hidden armory I built is actually at Red Rocket Truck Stop. So the next stop on our little tour here would be the Red Rocket Truck Stop. Mm -hmm. 
and here we are at Red Rocket. Now, uh, this was a build that I'm going to be doing pretty soon. I've got this settlement just about all the way done. But this shack over here is what contains my hidden armory at Red Rocket. Now, I'm sure everybody has seen the bookcase doors that have been unlocked that you can use. So they make really good doors, especially for a hidden vault or a hidden armory. Uh, the only bad part about it is, is the settlers and everything, they can open the doors. And apparently even my rad chickens that are from the Better Stores mod uh, can open them up and get in there. Even though, you know, I've used uh, some OC Decorator, uh, the uh, Weapon Rack Bracket mod, some of the vanilla ones, uh, vanilla gun racks. Uh, it really makes for a cool looking little hidden armory. And those work, you know, you can take the gun rack... A weapon rack bracket mod you can take those right off the wall and put them right back you know they're not they're not static there like uh, an OC decorator that I used to put the ammo and stuff down with um, but I just love the way this these little hidden armories have come out I thought they were really cool and then you can download a mod I think there's a mod out that lets you lock doors I, I don't know the name of it or anything but it will let you lock the door so that way none of the settlers or anything can get in there to mess with your stuff so i hope you all enjoyed this uh i hope this kind of sparks ideas for um sparks ideas for armories that you guys want to come up with uh this was uh this was a lot of fun for me to come up with these little hidden armories and and the new updated armory and sanctuary and things like that uh which who knows I'll, i may even do another one uh in sanctuary i think I've, i think i will tear that one down that i that i built and uh, i might try to come up with something different and use something other than the concrete walls you know i mean because there's all different kinds of stuff that you can use uh for that you know and and yeah i get it some people may not like it because i've used mods some people may like it only because i've used mods you know everybody's got the right to their opinion about it you know but for me and my channel if you don't like it and you can even tell me you don't like it hey scott i don't like that build because you've done this or this or this i can handle that you know constructive criticism only helps people out but if you're going to come on and attack people about it that's that's not cool that's just not good so you know it's just a game guys let's just you know if you don't like it that's fine if you do i hope you do because i really enjoyed building it um and i personally don't see the difference in using a mod and the vanilla assets because we didn't create any of it bethesda created the vanilla assets mod authors created the mods it's all the same thing to me so, but anyway, hope you all have a good one.